Welcome back everyone, my name is Tanner, and if you're new here, I'm your typical CPA who's striving to live a healthy and balanced lifestyle while working in public accounting. If you follow me on Instagram, at Accountant Fitness, or have been watching my videos on my YouTube channel here, you'll know that in the last five to six years, I've been investing myself through a home gym. I've been at a gym membership since 2015, so instead of paying for a gym membership, I use that same amount of money and put it into a fund. And then over time, I use the money in that fund to buy gym equipment. It's basically the same logic for why you should buy a house as opposed to renting. As through a gym membership, you're essentially paying other people to use their gym equipment. While you can use that same money, and over a period of time, you can buy gym equipment to use that you actually own. I've already recorded one prior YouTube video on this strategy of mine that I'll leave linked to my description down below on how I've saved money over the years to buy new gym equipment each year. And now it's 2021, and the home gym fund was ready to buy a new piece of equipment. So, welcome the Concept2 Biker. I'm a big fan of the company known as Concept2. They make some of the best and most durable equipment out there with their most well-known being their rower. I've owned the rower since 2018, and honestly it still works and looks just as good as day one when I bought it. Yes, their equipment won't be the cheapest out there, but their products are worth the investment in my opinion. I actually did buy a cheaper rower at first, but it only turned out to be the biggest waste of money, as the settings on it were horrible, and it flat out didn't function very well. However, I have zero complaints on the Concept2 rower. One of the other well-known products that Concept2 has is their skier. I've had limited use on this machine while competing at High Rocks, but I'm a big fan of it as well. It very well could be a future 2022 home gym edition. Now that then takes us to the Concept2 Bike Erg, which is my latest edition. As you can probably guess, they've taken the same flywheel system found in all their other machines and made an exercise bike with it. Unlike your traditional spin bike, it uses a fan system that uses fan blades and air to create resistance. So because of this, the faster you pedal, the more resistance you feel. So a nice benefit of this that there's technically no limit to the amount of resistance you can get from any of the Concept2 systems. Overall, the flywheel on the biker is high-end and time-tested to be effective. It's capable of providing as much resistance as you want, and the damper settings allow you to adjust the feel of your ride. Another thing about the bike that I really like is how easy it is to adjust the positioning. You can adjust the height and horizontal position of the handlebars quite easily, and the handles are multi-grip, which allows for three different grip options during the ride. The frame on this bike is made of aluminum, so it's actually quite lighter than it might look. With a weight of only 68 pounds fully assembled, the bike erg is half the weight of many spin bikes, which makes it easier to move around if necessary. Last, I'll talk about the console. Concept2 made a great choice when they decided to use the famous P5 monitor, which is the same one on my roller behind me, on this bike. The P5 console is large and easy to read during use. It displays all the cycle metrics you'd want, including cadence, pace, watts, and calories. The PM5 is Bluetooth compatible, making it easy to sync up most heart rate monitors and fitness apps. Overall, the PM5 is more sophisticated than most consoles, especially considering most air bikes come with limited displays. Those are the main reasons why I decided to buy this bike based upon this research and my prior use of using the bike erg when compared to other spin bikes that I've either used or that I've owned personally. A continuous goal of mine is to build that engine and that muscular endurance, so I wanted to get another form of cross training that was low impact and focused primarily on the legs. As you can see behind me, I have the Rogue EcoBike and the Concept2 Rower. Both are great forms of cross training, however they do have some form of upper body movement. With the Erg Bike, it's all legs. And now, it's time to put this bad boy together.
didn't really go too hard on that bike ride. I just tried to get a feel for the bike and see if there's any adjustments I need to make. In those 30 minutes, I logged 13,311 meters, so about 8.25 miles, give or take. Kept the heart rate at about 130, so nothing too intense. I'm hoping about two to three months from now, once I've ridden this bike enough, I can do a more thorough review and any tips I have on the Concept 2 Biker. If this is something you'd like to see in a future video of mine, please be sure to let me know in the comments below. To end here, if you found this video helpful, please consider sharing and hit that like button. Also, if you want to be sure you catch my next video, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Otherwise, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.